the following video asks us to find a perpendicular line, the equation of a perpendicular line, um, perpendicular to the line AB. And it only gives you the points of AB and not the equation of AB. But it's still the same. When we talk about perpendicular lines, what we are looking for is um, negative reciprocal slopes, right? We're worried about the, the perpendicular tells us something about slope. So what we have to do is calculate the slope by first finding the slope of the line that we're perpendicular to. So in this case, we're perpendicular to AB, so we need the slope of AB. Once we do that, then we find the negative reciprocal of that, and that's the slope of the line that we're actually trying to find. And then we use the point C in that slope to find our answer using Y equals MX plus B. So the slope of AB is going to be, well, subtract the Y, so negative 3 minus 3 over 2 minus 4. Well, that equals negative 6 over negative 2, which is a positive 3. So the slope of line AB is 3, but we, don't, we, we use that slope to find the negative reciprocal. So our slope is going to be, well, the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third, and the negative of that, meaning the opposite, is going to be a negative 1 third. So our slope is negative 1 third. So now we have a slope, and then we know the line's got to go through point C, so we've got a slope and a point. We use this, the formula y equals mx plus b, and we go find the equation. So first insert the slope, so y equals a negative one-third x plus b. The second step is to always insert a point, so you plug in negative one for x and four for y. So you get four equals a negative one, uh, positive one-third plus b. Once you multiply negative one-third times negative uh, one, that equals a positive one-third. So then we are going to subtract one-third from both sides to solve for b. And if you think about four minus one-third, well, you know, there's, it's like three and three, four is like three and three thirds. Take one away and you get three and two thirds. So B equals three and two thirds. So our answer is Y equals a negative one third X plus three and two thirds. Uh, again, so what we did is we found the slope of AB and then we found the negative reciprocal of that because when you are trying to find the slope of a uh, perpendicular line, it's always a negative reciprocal. So now we had the slope negative one third. We ignored AB at this point and just use C, and we inserted the slope, inserted the point, and then we went and solved for B and wrote our slope and our y-intercept into y equals mx plus b to get our answer.